All right, let me go ahead and double check to make sure. Yep, we are recording. Guys, Seth Estrada here, and I want to show you in this video how I'm dumping Zoom. You just need to know this. Right now, I'm on the Pro plan, which allows me to host a Zoom call, allows me to have up to 100 participants, allows me to ISO record every individual audio channel. And it's a pretty big deal if you do podcasts, or if you do multi-guest media production the way that I do. You'll see me sometimes interview a full team on video or on a podcast style interview, panel style interview, and it allows me to sweeten the audio of every single participant. However, there have been nearly a half million accounts from Zoom sold on the dark web. For all I know, my account is being leveraged right now by other people, and they've just changed some settings. So today I am canceling my subscription so that I don't get billed for the next one. So let's see. Do, do, do. Important features are missing. <laughs> Add end to end encryption as a standard option. And maybe <laughs> I'll come back. Yeah, I know they're thinking like, oh my gosh, no, Seth, you're you're destroying us. Please, please don't cancel. Oh well, whatever. I am not happy with that at all. I could tell them that I'm not satisfied with the product. That would be enough. Um, okay, so yeah, passwords, waiting rooms. I've been doing that for over a year. This is, it's just best, best practice. So I still have a Zoom account, but it's no longer the pro plan. I just want you to see, I'm not going to deal with that anymore. This is what I'm using instead. This is what future guests to my channel can expect to be using. It's called Jami, and it is free and open source, but it is super robust. There's an Android client, iOS client, obviously Mac and Windows and Linux are supported. So the desktop versions are supported, but there are also mobile versions of this app. It allows you to do messaging, but also audio and video calls, as well as screen sharing without having to authenticate your account over a SIM enabled device. This is huge. Think about Signal, for example. I'm going to go to Signal.org. Um, Signal.org is the home of the Signal app and Signal.org. This is pretty amazing for voice chat and for encrypted chat rooms. This is really good. In fact, it's one of the best options around. Also free and open source. And then if you needed to fork the code to host it yourself, you could. If you are, if you have that level of paranoia, if you have that level of security need, and you can always just continue to update based on the updates that Signal pushes to the code base. So you have tremendous goodwill from the Signal developer community to allow you to use it in that way. But it's a very, you see right here, it looks very similar to say like Facebook Messenger. It's very, very usable for the average user. It's not IRC. It's not a bare bones text chat only. It's very usable. You can even transfer that you see right there, photos and voice messages, as well as small videos, I think th that are under 10 megabytes in attachment size. But Jami does something different. It's really more of a competitor to Zoom. So there you go. Ad free, private, compatible, fast, autonomous, anonymous. Ooh. And of course, it's gotten a lot of good press. I only recently discovered it thanks to a YouTube publisher, uh, The Hated One. <laughs> Got such a great name. And he's been, he's been destroyed by recent content purges on YouTube, which makes me really sad. He's got some really great content there. But I strongly recommend, if you have any interest in being on my channel at all, being interviewed or having your project interviewed on my channel, you will learn to love projects like this, period. There's no going back. We live in a world of disinformation and misinformation, right? Those who, those who neglect to take in the news are not informed, and those who do watch the news are misinformed. We live in a crazy, crazy world of, I hate to use the term fake news, but I just used it. We live in a crazy world where all kinds of crazy stuff is being passed off as truth. One of the few ways in which we can at least communicate without strange interruptions is by using free and open source alternatives like this that are ad free, not ad supported, and that have that commitment of never being ad supported. So learn to love Linux, guys, switch to Linux, learn to love it. If you're on Android, if you are okay with Android handsets, get an Android handset that will allow you to use the Android open source project. So not the version of Android that your phone carrier or that your handset manufacturer 
forces you to use, but learn how to install something like, uh, it's called Lineage OS. Let me pull that up as well. Lineage OS. Learn to use, learn to, learn to use search providers like DuckDuckGo, as you see here. I'm not using Google, and I haven't for about a year now, maybe a little longer. I've been on and off since uh, before that point, but now it's been basically exclusively DuckDuckGo, unless I have something open in a private tab where my personal Google account is not being tracked, in which case I might use Google for some search, but not often. But right here, Lineage OS, this can be reinstalled on your phone. Um, so again, I'm kind of going off on a tangent here, but the point is free and open source, secure and not filled with trackers from Google, Facebook, Microsoft, or Apple. These big four, we'll call them, have such an interest in tracking and controlling your data, even though Apple claims that they don't have an interest in doing it, and they claim that they don't have backdoors on their products, there's really no way for you to know for sure, because the code base is not transparent and not reviewed by third parties. So. Apple is a, they make, they make great products. They are, they're a fine company, but there's no way for you to have their products audited, have the software audited because it's not open source. So move to open source products like Jami. I am, you saw live right there. I made the switch zoom to Jami. It's already installed on my system. And the next interview you see with another person on my channel will be done through Jami. Thanks so much for watching to the end of the video. You'll see a link to Jami down in the description and as well as lineage OS and Signal. If you're interested in trying out those technologies, I strongly recommend that you do. Um, while we're on the topic, I'll also leave uh, a link to F-Droid, which is an alternative to the Android App Store, the Google Play Store, as well as, let me see if I can, um, Aurora, the Aurora Store, and uh, the Aurora Store right here which is available through F-Droid. So I'll leave links to all of these down in the description. These can be a springboard for you to move, as I've done, from Zoom and Microsoft and even Google and Facebook into a world free of being tracked. So at least for some of your devices, you can move from being tracked. Thanks so much for watching the end of the video, hitting the like button, clicking the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon so you're notified when new videos come out. You are the reason I make this media. I love your face and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.